the river was the scene of a miraculous comeback. Now it's one site of an annual battle for the bald eagle. The Raptor Center rescues and rehabilitates injured birds from all over the state. We see typically over a thousand raptors come in each year. Last year we saw 183 bald eagles. The major problem is lead poisoning. 85 to 90 percent of eagles come in with lead exposure. 30 percent have lead toxicity, which is almost always fatal. Forty years of research have shown that lead ammunition used in deer hunting contaminates the deer guts. When the hunter leaves a gut pile out, eagles eat the toxic food and become sick. Many of our most severely um, exposed birds, eagles, those that are the worst, they start right after the start of hunting season. Hunting season starts and then the eagles start coming in. One solution might be switching to copper ammo. It's just as effective as lead but doesn't leave toxins behind. The center is not trying to stop deer hunting. For us it's about the fact that a bullet shouldn't kill twice. It shouldn't kill the scavengers that are, are eating on the left behind. The effects of lead toxicity are both far-reaching and personal. When you see a bald eagle dying of lead toxicity, it's a, it's a very agonal death. It's, it's, it's horrible. Uh, there are some people who just look at it from a population level and say, well, the population is stable. Uh, and that is true right now. However, these impacts are cumulative. We never know what's going to be the tipping point. That just seems ethically and morally wrong. Uh, we need, if we know that's happening, um, you know, we, it would be illegal to go out and beat up a bald eagle with a baseball bat, so why are we allowed to go out and, and knowingly poison bald eagles when there is a, a different solution? With some small changes that people make, the bald eagle can win the battle to stay in the skies.